In this tutorial, I will implement a provider for the each shots. We don't really need it in this application, but if our application has many screens and I want to navigate to any other screen with push replacement, then I come back to this screen. The list of messages will not be available anymore. So this is why it would be better if we use the provider state management. And also if you want to display it in another screen, it will be easier for you. So for that, let's create a new file and let's name it chat provider to dart. And here let's say class chat uh, or chats provider, whatever. And I will add the change notifier and uh, in here it should be capital S. Now, in the chat screen, in here we define this chat list. We are using it to display it in the list view to builder. Okay. And then, here we are appending the user message, and then we are appending the AI message. So this is basically what we will do. We go back to the provider, we initialize a list, just like initialization of this list, paste it here, import the class, and now we need to create a getter for this list. So let's type get, or we can just copy it from here, paste this here, and then the type will be of this type, and in our case we will return the chat list, and let's say get chat list, like that. So here we created the getter for it. Now we need to create the setters. As I showed you, we have in the chat screen, we have here, we are adding the user message and then we are adding the bot message. So let's create two functions, one to add the user message, one to add the bot message. You can do it in the same function, but just to make it clear for you, I will do two different functions. So here, so here I will do add user message like that, and let's give it uh, a message as an argument, so like that. And then here we can use the same code we used here. Paste it here, and now of course, instead of this text, we need to use the message. And now we need to call the notify listener in order to tell the chat provider to listen to these changes here and display directly the changes on the screen. Now for the second one, here for the bot message, I will copy this. It is a future function, so let's type future of type void and then let's say send message and get answers like that and it will take the string message and then the chosen model so also required string model or let's say I will name it chosen model ID to make it clear for you and now we need to add the async keyword here and we can paste our function just like that. We need to import the API class and here we need to give it the message and here we need to give it the chosen model ID. Perfect, so now this chat provider, we need to add it in the main just like we added the models provider. So just like that, we need to import it now and that's it. Now we are ready to use it. So, in the chat screen, let's go up. And now I will copy this, paste it again, and now let's define the chat provider. Okay, and here let's name it chat provider, like that. Now we can use this provider in order to add the user message. So, here we are adding the user message. I will comment it. Let's now call 
the user message but in here we don't have access to this but so we need to uh, pass in the chat provider as an argument here so let's say chat provider and now we will have access to it so let's say in here add user message and in our case we need to give it the message that we have which is the text editing controller dot text just like that and now for this one we need to give it I mean we can call the chat provider and then dot let's say uh, call this function and of course we need to give it the text and we need to give it the chosen model so we call this model provider uh, actually here it is and I will comment this line and that's it now let's make sure uh, I mean first we need to add the chat provider now still having an error of course we need to add it uh, also here and now restart our application okay I will send a message after that I restart send and now nothing happened so let's check what's going on in here it is a future function so let's await it and here we need to add the notify listener also so like that now restart the application and let's see so let's say hello and now send okay something is happening but it's not showing on the screen and this is normal so now we need to use the chat provider instead uh, of the list that we were using it here so let's comment this and now I will add comments for you just to keep it so now we can get the chat list dot length and we can use it instead so I will comment this and I will comment this for you and now paste it like that and then we call the index here and then call the message and I will copy this and do the same one same thing here and that's it now I will save here it is okay so now I restarted the application and I will test it again so let's uh, send any message so let's say hello send and now our message appeared perfect now let's see the answer okay perfect we have the answer also so now we implemented the chat using also a provider so we don't manage it just locally we can access these chats any and any other screen okay so with this tutorial we finished uh, everything related to our application I just want to add one more tutorial about the errors uh, just to display the errors if we have an error we can show a toast or something and uh, as I said in the beginning of this tutorial I might update this application and add other features I will see what to do and I will see what uh, your suggestions about this app. See you in the next one.